Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a quick little video telling you 10 things that I no longer buy as someone who practices low waste living. Now notice I say low waste and not zero waste. I do try where I can to be as zero waste as possible, but I am definitely not perfect. I have made lots of swaps and something that I mentioned in a couple of my videos that are along the same theme is that if I have something that is not zero waste aligned, then I'm not gonna just straight up throw it away. I'm gonna get my full use out of it before I replace it with something that is a little bit more conscious because it doesn't help anyone just adding to the waste problem so you can quick replace it with something that doesn't. And it definitely makes the lifestyle seem a lot more unattainable because most of us don't have the money to throw away like all of our possessions and buy all new ones. The fact of the matter is, things that are not as good for the environment cost a lot less than things that are, for the most part. Like a disposable plastic water bottle costs significantly less than a nice metal like insulated bottle with recycled beech wood cap, something like that. So I've talked about a couple of these swaps before, but in case you haven't seen those videos, Here's a little quick rundown of 10 things that I do not buy. Number one is gonna be shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I no longer buy huge bottles of any kind of soap for my body. I instead use bars only. I have a bar of shampoo, a bar of conditioner, and a bar of body wash. And I also do not have like a plastic loofah. I do have a soap saver, which is a little bag that you can put a used bar of soap in or like chunks of soap that are getting too small to use on their own. And it also has an exfoliating element. You can you can use these for lots of things, like not just your body, you can use them for dishes, you can use them for other types of cleaning, it's very handy. Next, I no longer use disposable cotton pads for my face. Now if you do not know me or what I do outside of this channel, I run a YouTube channel, Instagram, all kinds of stuff under the name Gregor Vomit where I do drag makeup. I do use a lot of skincare and I use a lot of makeup removers and things like that. I made my own makeup remover pads out of an old like dishcloth tea towel that I just cut up and I surge the edges of it and then I will soak this in micellar water or whatever I'm using and I use it to clean the makeup off my face. It works super well and when I'm done with this I can just throw it in the laundry. It comes out just like new again. And I've been using these for probably around two years now and they work perfectly and if they ever are completely eaten up and need to be discarded, it's very easy to go grab another $1 dish towel from Goodwill or something, cut it up again and start over. Much better than buying new cotton pads every month forever. Next, I no longer buy toothpaste and mouthwash. And this isn't entirely, entirely true. I have a video up of my zero waste toothpaste recipe. I mentioned making like a batch of zero waste toothpaste, using that up, and then getting an eco-friendly toothpaste, using that up, and then kind of alternating. So that's what I currently do. So instead of saying that I don't buy toothpaste at all anymore, I buy half the amount of toothpaste or even less because my zero waste toothpaste lasts a really long time. Same goes for mouthwash. All right, next, transitioning away from the bathroom, I no longer buy paper towels or napkins. So I have cloth napkins. A pack of like 30 of these was I don't know, 10 bucks from where I got them from, and they're just cotton, and I use them just like you would a normal napkin. They work just fine. They look f fancier than necessary at my table. If I get anything on them, you just throw them in the wash, and again, they come out like normal instead of buying like napkins or paper towels to eat with. I do have some emergency paper towels left over that you may see in a video here and there. I know I use them in my Bob's Burgers recipe videos for like, patting the oil off of things, but that is not a common feature in my life. <laughs> Once those are used up entirely, I'm probably not going to repurchase them. All right, next is specialized cleaners. Now, I have an all-purpose cleaner and I have a concentrate for the all-purpose cleaner. So I no longer will buy bathroom-specific cleaner, kitchen-specific cleaner, uh, window cleaner, mopping liquid, like anything like that. My all-purpose cleaner really functions all purpose and I'm able to clean everywhere just fine with those things. Now I would say that that is the low waste way of looking at it if I were to do completely zero waste and I'm very comfortable doing this, I just haven't gotten into it yet, making my own cleaner out of like baking soda, vinegar, lemon juice, things like that. Alright, next is dryer sheets. 
I have a dryer ball here. So instead of buying dryer sheets and throwing those into the laundry when it dries, you pop this in here instead. It does the same thing, like it helps uh, dry the laundry faster, it helps with like lint and static, and then if you want it to help make your clothes smell better, you can put a couple drops of like essential oil on it first before you throw in the dryer. All right, next, I do not buy DVDs or CDs. I only have streaming services. I do not want to buy a plastic case with a movie in it. I don't like the way that it, they take up physical space. And obviously, plastic is not great either. Same goes for CDs. And along that same vein, books. I do not buy books anymore. I do have a library card and I like to go to the library and check out books and bring them back. Otherwise, streaming service, listen to audiobooks, and get ebooks for my iPad. And no, you don't have to have an iPad or a Kindle or something like that to read an ebook. You can read them on computers and phones too. You don't need any fancy technology really. And for number nine, I don't buy any plastic like miscellaneous housewares. So, if I need to get something, like let's say I need a new spatula, I'm not gonna go out and buy a plastic one. Any purchases from here on out of things that are currently of a non-sustainable material are gonna be of a sustainable material. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm not in a rush to throw out anything that I currently have that is plastic or non-sustainable. Um, I will get its proper use out of it, use it until I absolutely can't anymore, and then when I do replace it, I will make a more conscious decision. And then for my last thing, number 10, kind of goes along with that, is I just no longer do impulse buying in the same way that I used to when I first had access to my own money. Honestly, I love shopping. The ethical implication of whatever I'm buying weighs a lot heavier on my mind and it has definitely made it so that these decisions are easier for me to make. It's easier for me to say, no, I don't need that because X, Y, Z. It's easier for me to be like, oh, I shouldn't get this because uh, it's plastic or not good for the planet rather than, oh, I shouldn't get this because I shouldn't spend money or because I don't need it. I do have a whole video about conscious consuming up on my channel already and the things that I have to tell myself constantly not to buy. And it has been quite a journey to get myself to stop buying just random things. Thanks to minimalism, low waste living, veganism too. They all work together. All right, guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you're interested in me talking any more about any of the things that I mentioned, I do have a video up about my low waste kitchen essentials and then my low waste bathroom essentials where I talk about those things more in depth and dependently. Yeah, like I said, I am not perfect. I hope this was just mildly educational of pretty simple things that you can do that are in general not expensive and that you can incorporate into your life. Anyway, like always, please check out the links in my description. There is some information on my Patreon as well as my other social media sites. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.